The Dark Side of Hollywood, Part 12, The Actress in the Garage I ask you to cast your gaze in the direction of that young woman trying to get inside the mansion at Casillo del Mar, owned by movie director Roland West and his actress wife, Jewel Carmen. The woman with her bright blonde hair, dressed in her evening dress, wrapped in a fine mink, struggling with the mansion door, really sticks out in the cool December night, doesn't it? The woman you are observing is actress Thelma Todd, and as you can see, she just made her way inside the garage of the home, which is mere yards and in sight of Ms. Todd's restaurant she co-owns with the couple that owns this mansion. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, however, and while Ms. Todd is in the garage, let's take a look back and see her road to Hollywood stardom, shall we? Before we continue with tonight's mysterious ongoings. Let's start where most of these stories start, and that's back at the beginning. Ms. Todd was born July 29, 1906, in Lawrence, Massachusetts. While growing up in a somewhat ordinary life, she mainly concentrated on her schooling, where she had hoped to one day become a teacher. After she graduated from high school, she enrolled at the University of Massachusetts, Lowell, where she continued her schooling. To earn money as a student, she went into modeling and entered several beauty pageants, eventually winning Miss Massachusetts. While out in Hollywood representing her state, she was noticed by a talent scout. She was quickly offered an enrollment slot to the Paramount Players School in New York, where they would teach enrollees acting, athletics, proper manners, etc. And if they showed well enough, they would then be sent to Hollywood to start their acting career. She and only one other member of her class, Charles Buddy Rogers, graduated to Hollywood. And not too long after arriving, she found work at Hal Roach's studios. She arrived at the latter stages of the silent film era of Hollywood, where she was able to land supporting roles thanks to her looks, but wasn't given many opportunities to show off her acting skills until soon after with the arrival of Talking Pictures and producer Hal Roach casting her in pictures alongside comedy stars Charlie Chase and Laurel and Hardy. She performed so well that Mr. Roach decided to give her her own series, a comedic series of shorts with a female partner, Zazu Pitts, hoping to form a female Laurel and Hardy act. The comedic shorts were successful, and she also landed roles in full-length features, including the film Corsair from 1931, directed by Roland West, whom she became romantically involved with even though he was already married to actress Jewel Carmen. Ms. Todd continued her successful comedic shorts for the next few years with a new partner, actress Patsy Kelly, when Ms. Pitts left the act. Along the way, Ms. Todd also got married to Hollywood agent and producer Pat DeChico, who besides having believed to have mob ties, also was suspected with two other men in the beating and murder of comedian Ted Healy, which we discussed in an earlier chapter. The marriage between Ms. Todd and Mr. DeChico was a turbulent and abusive one, and she divorced him after two years in 1934. She still had her lover, Mr. West, though. That same year, Ms. Todd opened up Thelma Todd's Sidewalk Cafe along with her lover, Mr. West, and his wife, Miss Carmen. It is said Miss Todd 
was the face of the business, financially backed by Mr. West and actually owned by Ms. Carmen. It is, however, unknown if Ms. Carmen knew of the affair between her husband and Ms. Todd. Just like her previous marriage, however, it is said her affair with Mr. West was turbulent and that he was controlling and possessive. Now, we come back to tonight's developments, the present, the night of December 15th, 1935. Before our trip down memory lane, we witnessed Miss Todd enter the garage of the mansion belonging to her lover, Mr. West, and his wife, Miss Carmen. Sadly, she will not be seen alive again. Miss Todd was found the next morning dead, reportedly dying from carbon monoxide poisoning resulting from her 1934 Lincoln Phaeton convertible running all night, which her body was found inside of. The police concluded that Ms. Todd died accidentally trying to keep herself warm from the cold December night after being locked out of the home. There have been plenty of rumors and conspiracies following her strange and untimely death, ranging from potential suicide, but there was no note and no known signs of sadness or a reason to do so, to the foul play rumors of her lover, Mr. West, murdering her. Those rumors also range. There's reports that there was no sign of foul play, except for a small contusion on the lip. Then there are rumors that there were signs of bodily injury. There are also differing thoughts on how Mr. West murdered Miss Todd, from him killing her on his yacht, then bringing her back home and placing her inside her car in the garage and staging it to look like an accident, to him closing the garage door intentionally while Ms. Todd was intoxicated and asleep inside her car. Sadly, we will never know the true circumstances behind the comedic actress's untimely death. Only Mr. West knows for certain, and he never told a soul. It just shows you can have a career in comedy and make millions laugh. But those laughs turn to screams when you try to laugh on the dark side of Hollywood. I would like to give a heartfelt thank you to the special friends of the channel for your overwhelming generosity. If you would like to support the channel, the link is below in the description. Also, please send me your stories and poems to duchessofdarkness27 at gmail.com. You can also find me on Instagram at duchess.ofdarkness and Twitter at duchessofdark and two. I want to thank all my listeners for your kindness, your encouragement, and your support. It means the world to me. Thank you for joining me. Until next time.